Hello guys and welcome back to my channel for another episode of Started From The Bottom. Today we have a season-defining episode. We take on Arsenal under the lights in the Champions League quarterfinals. We are at home in the first leg, so fingers crossed we can get a good job done there. After that, we take on Manchester United. It's first versus second. If we secure all three points... We return to the top of the... Well, not return to the top. We reclaim our Premier League crown off of Manchester United. It's a massive episode. Let's get into it. So guys, you've not missed a great deal since last episode. Last time out, you would have seen our unbeaten season come to an end thanks to a 74th minute goal from Eddie Salcedo at home to Liverpool. Very disappointed with that one. We then took on Napoli in the uh, second leg of our Champions League uh, first knockout phase. Um, we drew 1-1 with them. Phil O'Neill rescuing the late um, the late goal for us there, but we did go through 3-1 on aggregate. Since then, we sort of um, it feels like we've turned a corner after a little bit of a patchy run of form. Um, we managed to beat Brighton 2-0. Uh, Jupe Post and Lewis Dondon getting those goals before uh, absolutely battering Leeds United 4-0. Uh, double for Dondon, Pierre Ngongang and Christian getting back on the score sheet for the first time since his injury. Um, so in terms of the schedule, guys, what we have today, we are taking on Arsenal, as I said, in the first leg of our Champions League quarterfinal. We are at home in the first leg, so hopefully we can you know, get a, get a positive lead. It looks like a lot of our games are on TV all, all of a sudden. Um, we also then take on Manchester United in the Premier League. The state of the Premier League as is, uh, we have a game in hand uh, and we are five points clear. Um, I think if we win this, we win the title, I think. It definitely said that before the last game, but ourselves and Manchester United both won. If I scroll back in the fixtures, we won 4-0 against Leeds and they won 3-0 against QPR. Um, as I said, we're aiming to reclaim our Premier League title. Manchester United won it last season. We won it the season before. So hopefully seeing Bath City in this area a lot more frequently moving forward. Um, in terms of the Champions League then, guys, this is the Champions League draw quarterfinal stage. For those of you who missed it, Barcelona taking on Manchester City, PSG versus Atletico Madrid. We are taking on Arsenal and Chelsea are taking on Real Madrid. We've already done the draw for the semi-finals. If we were to get through, we will play the winner of PSG versus Atletico Madrid. So we avoid the Spanish Giants. We avoid the other two English teams in the quarterfinal stage. So without any further ado, let's move forward into today's first game. Arsenal, Mikel Arteta. They're in fair form. We're in fairly inconsistent form. We've got a slight advantage against them in terms of our previous meetings. Um, downside for us though Jose Carlos is suspended for this game so this is the team Kamara in goal, Zola Badham, Rivas, Muzo's filling in at halfback uh, Foster, Morrison, Lorente, Bakuna Phil O'Neill and Luis Dondon. As I said Jose Carlos is suspended, Richard Merko's exhausted uh, Christian's quite tired and Gongang's exhausted, Ben Allingham's exhausted so we've had to rotate the team Hopefully, that does not cost us today against Arsenal. We've taken on this Arsenal team a lot this season, and we've got a positive record against them, but you never know in these massive, massive games. Obviously, they've got Saliba, Declan Rice, Marcus Rashford, Harvey Elliott. Um, this guy, Ibrahim Bakabulundi, um, English international, 50 caps for England, 36 goals. He is a very, very nice, nice player indeed. Um, 98 goals in 210 appearances for Arsenal, 17 goals in all competitions this season. Definitely not to be sniffed at. I'd like to think that we have the better team. Um, responsibilities are set for eight Arsenal players. I'm going to tell the boys to pick up where they left off and we'll leave it there. I'm going to save the passionate talk for the Manchester United game. Let's see if we can get through this game with a lead in the tie and ideally without Arsenal managing to register a goal. 20 minutes of this one gone though. Nothing to report about so far. Um, we've just had a decent amount of chances. Arsenal haven't had a shot on target as of yet. 
Um, are we going to get a highlight in this first game? It does uh, first half. It doesn't look like it. 40 minutes on the clock now. And 42nd minute, we finally get one. Bakuna throws it into Dondon. Goes past his man into the penalty area. Jason Bakuna... I don't know what that was. Cross? A shot? I don't know. But it was easy for the Arsenal goalkeeper to stop. And that is half time. We're nil nil. Chelsea are also nil nil against Real Madrid. Um, Arsenal have had a lot of the ball. Not really done anything with it. We've had four shots, three on target, um, of which we've not really seen any. Um, so I'm going to assertively say time for everyone to dig in. And I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but I'm going to give them the old I have faith in you. Everyone seems happy. Uh, Lewis Dondon seemed to gain confidence, which is great. I'm not gonna not gonna beat around the bush and just I'm just gonna do that. Throw everyone back out there for this second half, and fingers crossed we can get the lead in this tie. I I like a lead going into the game at the Emirates. Um, still haven't seen anything this game from either side really. Arsenal playing the ball out from the back. Declan Rice into Marcus Rashford, who has a habit of scoring against us for Arsenal, actually. Great challenge there. Shardoin Zola gets it into Badham. Lorente, Morrison, out to Bakuna. Goes on his own. Got two men with him. Saliba steps across superbly there. Very good defending from the Frenchman. Knocks it back. Recycle the ball into Rashford. Declan Rice now on the ball in the centre of the pitch. Spreads it out to Harvey Elliott on this right-hand side. Goes back to Bruno. Nice spell of possession this for Arsenal. Marcus Rashford into the penalty area. And that is a superb save from Kamara. That was a great move from Arsenal as well. 20 minutes of this one remaining. Set piece for Liverpool. Harvey Elliott whips it in. We clear the initial danger. Phil O'Neill punts it even further clear. But that is the highlight over there. 20 minutes of this game to go. I've got to make some changes. I'm not happy with how we're performing in these wide areas. Um, I know I'm bringing on a central midfielder to play there um, in both these positions, but I think as inside forwards, I don't think it makes that big of a difference. 15 minutes of the game to go then. We get the initial block. The referee gets in the way of uh, Gary Morrison, but he gets there ahead of the Arsenal man. One-on-one -on -one into the penalty area, hits it against the goalkeeper, onto the crossbar by the looks of things, and goes behind for a Bath City corner. It's the first highlight of hours you've seen this game. Um, Zola back to Morrison, then off the corner into Lorente. Crosses block. Christian Muzzo strikes from distance and it goes wide of the goal. Um, I don't know whether to go. Ooh, I don't know whether to go attacking or not. Uh, very attacking or not. Free kick for Arsenal. Harvey Elliott takes it short into Bruno. Back to Harvey Elliott. Into the penalty area he goes. Shoots across goal. Kamara makes a save. I'm going to do it. I want I want the lead going into this game. Final five minutes then. Are we seeing anything else? Or is this going to end in a drab nil-nil? And Arsenal are going to be happy with this. We've kept them without a goal, which... Mm, um, Don't be too hard on the team. Okay, I won't be too hard on the team. We've got a massive game against Manchester United coming up in the Premier League. So I will excuse the game against Arsenal. Obviously, we rotated the fullbacks, rotated the wingers. So I'm actually not too disappointed with that result. In the other game, Chelsea score in the 91st minute, thinking they've got victory. And Diallo, the former Manchester United man, um, equalises just a minute later for Real Madrid. He looks quite good um, as well. So honours even at the Bar City Stadium, we have Manchester United in just a few days. The Friday night game... If we win, I believe we secure the Premier League title. I'll be back for that game, guys, in just a few seconds. So this is it. We are taking on Manchester United on Friday, the 6th of April, 2029. If you take a look at this, the uh, full league table, we are five points clear with a game in hand. Um, and if we can do this against Manchester United, then that will go a long, long way for us uh, re-securing the Premier League title. In terms of fixtures after Manchester United in the Premier League, um, we've got Newcastle. It's not too bad. Wolves, I think, are in the bottom three. They are. Leicester are 10th. Newcastle are 20th. Um, Fulham are 14th. Uh, Blackburn are 11th. And West Brom are 18th. So we, we are playing the entire bottom three after. Um, you'd like to think the title would be ours. But I'd like to make this statement of intent against Manchester United here. Um as you will have noticed, we've rotated the team all the way back to our starting 11 almost. Um, 
Kamara is in goal. Amakanji, Baden, Bakuna's uh, playing at right wing back. Jose Carlos, Richard Merco's back in. Jute Post, Lorente, Christian and Gongang. And Luis Dondon. It's very rare that Luis Dondon goes a couple of games without scoring. So fingers crossed he can get the job done here. Obviously, there's some familiar faces in this Manchester United squad. Uh, Ayer, uh, Jude Bellingham, Felix Fury, the former Bath City man, Lataro Martinez, Rodrigo, and Jaden Sancho. Um, they've obviously got some very, very good, talented players. I think this Billy Griffin guy is also pretty special. Um, so we will go into the dressing room, go out and prove a point. They actually seem motivated, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, and fingers crossed we can get one hand on the Premier League trophy with a victory today. Um, first highlight goes to Manchester United. We've already seen a highlight quicker in this game than we did in the Champions League quarter final against Arsenal. Sancho with the ball into Lotaro Martinez here. Pressure on Bellingham. Bakuna belts that clear. Manchester United are forced to go back to their goalkeeper and play it out from the back. Ayer then into Bakuna. Ball over the top to Lewis Dondon. He's in. Oh, that was a great save from the Manchester United goalkeeper. First shot for us in the game. And Dondon forces a great save from the Manchester United goalkeeper. Duke Post on the ball then. Second phase after the corner. Back to Badham. Oh, and that is the highlight over. Come on, boys. We can do this against Manchester United. I believe. I believe. Throw in for United then. Saputo. Into Lataro Martinez, back to Felix Fury, our former player. Back to Jude Bellingham, goes for the long ball out to the wing, gets intercepted. Lorente powering forward with the ball into Christian. Christian into the penalty area, back to Luis Dondon. And come on, Luis Dondon. That is his 43rd goal of the season, perfectly placed into the corner. And what a move this is. Great drive here from Lorente. Up the line into Christian, goes past the defender, into the penalty area, rides the challenge, back into Dondon, lovely square, and 1-0 to Bar City. Come on, boys. Lorente on the ball then, out to this left-hand side, and Gongang's out on it. Has Merco beyond him, doesn't use him, into Lorente, back to Jose Carlos, this time it goes to Merco, crosses blocked, into Lorente, into the penalty area, Javier Lorente, he doesn't score many, but that could well be a deciding factor. He was at, he was at a major part in the first goal and he's scored the second one. The shot's blocked. He reacts first, picks up the ball into the penalty area, absolutely leathers it at the near post. We've got a two-goal lead, guys. Is the Premier League title coming back to the Bath Stadium? Set piece, though. Second phase, Badham, Jose Carlos with the ball, Badham into Lorente, Lorente into the penalty area again, he's got two United defenders with him, back to Jose Carlos, he's hit the post, and it looks like a free kick has been awarded for a foul on the Manchester United goalkeeper there, Lataro back to Saputo, cross comes over, Sancho on the header, easy one for Kamara this time, we clear the ball long, Christian goes past his man again. He's got options on the left and right. Goes for the shot. It doesn't. He doesn't strike it cleanly. And it goes wide of the goal. 34 minutes gone. We are 2-0 up at home against Manchester United. The second placed team in the Premier League. Our overall record in this save against Manchester United is just impeccable. Um, I think we've done very, very well against the team of Manchester United stature. Um, Jude Bellingham on the ball then, really making things tick. He's still only 25 in this save, um, given how far into the future we are. And Makanji heads that one back to Kamara, out to Richard Merko. We're just recycling the ball nicely here, nicely played. And Gongang into Dondon, into the penalty area. Lewis Dondon hits it through the goalkeeper's legs by the looks of things. And that is a brace for Lewis Dondon. I said he doesn't go many games without scoring. And he proves me right here. Nice move. Passing it around and Lorente again. Ball up and Gongang wins the header. The flick on into Dondon. He doesn't go through the goalkeeper's legs like I thought he did. Just to the side of him. Powered at home with his left foot. We are flying. Eight points clear with a game in hand. Felix Fury tries a free kick. No good from the German this time. 3-0 up against the second best team in the Premier League. What more can I say? You boys are playing superbly. Usually when I give this team talk, everything sort of falls apart in the second half. But I'm hoping that that doesn't happen today. Olazabal comes on for 
Griffin, who I who I said was a good player before the game. Rodrigo and Lautaro Martinez having a pretty poor time of it. 6.3s for both of them. Felix Fury, 6.4. And this is one of the main reasons why I did let Felix Fury go. I just didn't feel like he was the man for the big game. 10 minutes to go. Can we see this out? Another clean sheet for Kamara would be great. He's in the hunt for our clean sheet record. Merco on the ball. United have committed a lot of men forward here. Merco into Christian. Oh, I should have done better with that. At least, at least tested the goalkeeper a little bit more. Sancho, free kick. We clear the initial, or Kamara blocks the initial shot, but Rodrigo's on hand to tap in the rebound for what I'm hoping is a consolation goal. Rodrigo slides in there ahead of, I think that's Bakuna. It is. Um, Rodrigo's actually scored quite a lot of goals for Manchester United. It seems like he's been a very astute signing. But we win 3-1 at home to Manchester United. Boys, passionately, very happy with the way you played. If you have a 3-0 victory in the, or 3-0 lead at halftime, I don't expect you to throw it away. As I said, we have an eight-point lead over Manchester United. We've still got a game in hand. And we've only got six games left. So it's only going to be a matter of time until we f we get our tr hands back on that Premier League trophy. I'm going to say well done to Lewis Dondon. Frankie de Jong's trying to tap up Lewis Dondon. It's not very nice, is it? <laughs> um, but I'm hoping, potentially, if Barcelona do come in for Dondon, maybe, just maybe... I could get this man back. I would love to have Valentin Vega back in this side. We will see. That's, that's, that's something for the summer. Anyway, we will jump into the schedule. As I said, it looked like we turned a corner. Obviously, I rested certain players for this game against Arsenal. We didn't get too punished by it. So I'm quite happy with that. My next episode, guys, will be these next two games. Arsenal in the second leg of the Champions League. And we take on Championship Swansea. Uh, in the FA Cup semi-final, hoping to book our place at, um, in the final. Manchester City are playing Southampton, who are also in the championship. So you'd like to think it would be a Bath City versus Manchester City final. But that is for next time out, guys. If you have enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to drop a like on it and subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out as we gear up for Football Manager 2021. I'll be back tomorrow with another episode of Started From The Bottom. Hopefully, I'll see you guys there.